In this video, we're going to see about SMTP, meaning Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. We can send emails through SMTP server, like promotional emails, transactional emails, announcements, and even personal emails using SMTP server. Some of the SMTP providers are Sendinblue, Sendinblue, Sendpulse, Amazon SES, Google SMTP server, and so on. In this video, we're going to see about Amazon SES. SES meaning simple email service. For doing this, we have to follow six steps to get started with Amazon SES. The first step being create AWS account. So I already have the AWS account. So let me log in. So after login, you should navigate to SES. You can see the search bar here below find services. Type SES over there. You can see simple email service. So select that. After that, you need to verify your email. You can see the email addresses here in identity management panel. Select email addresses. Now we have to verify a new email address. Click on verify this email address. You have successfully sent a verification email to Podman at the Gmail. Close this. You can see the verification status as pending verification. Now go to the inbox and check the email. You'll receive the email like this. Click on the link to verify your email address. You have successfully verified an email address. You can now start sending email from this address. Go back to the AWS console. Click on refresh to see the verification status is verified. So now request a sending limit increase. In the email sending panel, click on sending statistics. You can see your Amazon SES account has sandbox access. Sandbox meaning we'll be able to send emails only to verified email address. To go out of the sandbox, you need to request a sending limit increase so that we can send emails to even non-verified email addresses. After clicking on request sending limit increase, you can see create case. Select service limit increase there. Service limit increase is automatically selected. Limit type SES sending limits. These fields are optional. You can select mail type as marketing, transactional, whatever it may be, whatever is useful. So you can give your website URL here and you can fill all these optional services. Select the region here, select desired daily sending quota and then give a new limit value. Now we write the case description here. Tell us about use case for this limit increase request. So we need to tell what we use this SMTP server for. So we use this SMTP server for sending promotional emails and transactional emails to our website. If you have a website, you can specify it over there and click on submit here. After clicking on submit, go back to the SES panel and then select SMTP settings. You can see the server name, port and authentication here and the button to create SMTP credentials. So click on the button. You can see I am username here. You can leave it like that or you can put any username there. I'm leaving it like that and click on create. One user have been created successfully. So if you click it here, you can see the username and password. Click on download credentials and the credentials will be downloaded. The best practice is to download the credentials so that they will be on your computer. After downloading the credentials, you can copy these in a notepad. Go to the simple email service again, select SMTP settings and then copy the server name port. We'll use transport layer security here, TLS to send emails. So this is the 
data we use to send the email through SMTP server. So SMTP, we have created SMTP credentials. Now it's a time to send an email, test email. For this, we need to take this link. Link will be in the description. Sending email using Amazon SES SMTP interface. We can use any programming language to send the SMTP email. So C hash, go, Java, Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby. We're selecting the Python to send SMTP. Copy this and create a file. And the code looks like this. So we have to change the sender name. Replace sender at the rate example with your from address. The recipient name here. Replace recipient at the rate example with the two address. If your account is still in a sandbox, this address must be verified. Our account is still in a sandbox. So we must verify this email address. As you can see, our account is still in sandbox. We are requested for sending limit increase. It will be done in 48 to 72 hours. As of now, we can send emails through sandbox. So we have to verify the recipient email address also. So let us verify this email address. We have successfully sent a verification email to gmail.com. This is the email address verification. Click on this activation URL. So we have successfully verified an email address. Recipient email address is verified. Username and password. You can find the username here from the credentials. And the password. This is optional, as you can see. If you comment out this line, you also need to remove or comment out the SES configuration set. We'll comment this out. We'll comment the XSES configuration set header also. This is the header. As of now, we are not using any configuration set. So here, we have to give the host. This is the host. Port is the same, 587. Here it is, it is a subject. And this is a body text and you can send even HTML content through email. So that's it, we'll save it. Now we'll try sending the test email using Python. Open the command prompt. Python space file name smtptest.py. You can see the email sent here, the test email is sent. Check the inbox. You can see this. This is the test email. This email was sent with Amazon SES using the Python SMTP library. So to send to different users uh, with promotional emails for promotional emails and bulk emails and all, you must request a sending limit increase by giving the parameters in that. So it will be activated in 48 to 72 hours. So this is all about using Amazon SES to send SMTP emails. You can send bulk emails uh, by looping over this code using for or while and uh, taking the email list from the database 
or you can integrate it to your websites like wordpress or any website so this is all about amazon ses thank you